What? No. What? I've been kidnapped? No. Where am I? Who is this? You gotta be kidding me. Today? You've kidnapped me. And I, you want me to do a crappie program? My wife says it's okay. Oh, I guess. I guess. What? The camera's already on? What the? Hey guys, watching in deep on the Delta, this is Steve Cooper, and evidently I've been kidnapped. They drugged me and they've taken me up, taken me up to an, an undisclosed lake somewhere. I don't know where I'm at. And it's one of you jokers out there that have been watching the channel and they want me to do a crappie program. Evidently, they've left me a bag of crappie gear. Oh, hey, I got a lunch. Got some crackers, I got looks like some nuts, a carrot. They even left me a couple of crappie rods. This might be okay. Let me get myself together, man. I think they maybe hit me on the freaking head. But hey, it might not be a bad idea. Let's do some crappie fishing today. Give me a minute. First thing I'm gonna say, this crappie fishing might not be so bad. I can buy all of this crappie stuff everything everything I need for the same price of one of these not bad eh I don't see any tulies I don't see any hydrilla I don't know I guess the first thing we're gonna have to do is figure out where the fish are so I'm gonna start looking around a little bit and see if I can turn my graph on I forgot how to use that I haven't used it in so long but I'm gonna see if I can find some fish floating around here and then we'll get into some crappie fishing. Hey, guess what? My graph actually has a sonar on it. So uh, we're gonna start looking around for some fish and uh, we find them, we'll start fishing. When we're looking for crappie, we're not really, I mean, this is great here if you can find fish on the bottom, but we're really looking, or what I like to look for is some suspended fish. So I'll pass these up and wait until I see some fish that are suspended in a uh, probably mid, uh, mid column of the water. Here's one coming up here a little bit. Let's see what happens uh, coming up. That's what we're looking for right there. All right, see a few fish under the boat. Let's see if we can catch them. Oh, just like that. <laughs> All right. There we go. Better attend my rod. Oops. <laughs> Almost lost that one. This one feels like a big one. Ooh. Oh, man. The little pink thingamabob looks like it's working pretty well.
This one took a white jig. Hey guys, Crappie Fishing 101, and this will get you by on pretty much any crappie lake in the United States. I know any crappie lake here in the mother load, so let's get started here. Five to six foot ultralight rod, four to six pound test line, and a 1500 uh, size spinning reel. Just any ultralight rod is going to be fine. You'll need an assortment of small jig heads, like we have here, uh, red, chartreuse and white those are those are the I've found that those three colors for crappie are going to work anywhere that I've ever fished for crappie I like to keep the jig heads in 1 32nd 1 16th and 1 8th ounce just uh, depending on how deep the crappie are uh, what the wind conditions might be on any given day that will give you a variety of jig heads that you can get down to the fish and, and stay in the schools of them Make sure I'm not going to float up on the bank. Here, so. I like to use uh, a variety of uh, both plastics and marabou. The old marabou crappie jigs, the white with the red head is, is unbelievable. Yellow and, um, and a chartreuse. Again, same old, same old. I like to use the little basically things like this that are just, I think they're Bobby Garland uh, squirming squirming worms or something. I was getting them on this guy, this pink one this morning, but kind of a pink pink or red does great. I also like to uh, have plenty of the little minnow type, and I think these are Bobby Garland too. They come, just the straight white, white one with a white head is perfect. Uh, they come in, you know, different shad colors, blues, reds, but stick to uh, red, white, yellow, chartreuse. Those are the four colors you'll need. You can put everything you need in a little box. I do fish uh, bobbers and uh, slip bobbers are something that you, you'd probably want to have if you get into crappie fishing. Uh, they're going to be useful especially when you're fishing in shallow water or when you're fishing specific depths and you, and you, uh, you want to stay at that certain depth. And then I always use some, um, some marker buoys and I'll use the marker buoys. Uh, what I'll generally do this time of year is start off in about 30 to 40 feet of water, find the schools of fish, drop a marker buoy and yes. it is important to be able to find the fish if you're not on a school of crop you're, you're not going to be catching them obviously but you want to really um, maybe go out with somebody that's familiar with the lake can put you in the right area of the lake where the fish usually congregate and uh, show you how to find the fish and, and then it's just a matter of very simple fishing just a matter of dropping down on them and and slowly uh, manipulating the jig up and down and when they hit they're just going to kind of grab it and uh, a small bite and and you're gonna just lift up uh, they have very thin mouths so most of the time you're fishing you're going to want to net them uh, boating them like I am today is a little bit risky but you know I, I'm, I'm looking to catch a couple fish to bring home for dinner and that's about it so let's get back into the fishing we'll Whoa, it's a nice one. That's a good sized crappie. Man, wow. Got on a little chartreuse or a pink crappie bait.
So that's my crappie fishing video. As you know, I was I was kidnapped out here and, and made to do this video. So uh, if whoever it was kidnapped me and, and sent me out here, if you're not a subscriber, I want you to at least subscribe to the channel. That's that's the least you can do. And hopefully. Uh, you know where I am. Please come to the uh, the dock and pick me up and, and bring me home. My wife, I know, said she wasn't, um, uh, didn't really care about uh, the kidnapping and everything, but she's going to miss me, I guarantee it. And I am out of food. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you had some fun. Uh, I'm still looking for some tulies and some hydrilla out here to fish, but I, I can't find any, so I don't, I don't know how to fish for bass out here at all. Um, I'll just have to keep fishing for crappies.